What's up, everybody? Chris here with the Realty Medics, providing you with the uh, 2023 Q2 market update. Um, pulled this data from combination of places or reports for the median sales data from June, um, as well as Zillow and Bumper for some of the rental rates, and then kind of just what we're seeing here locally um, with us personally. So in Orlando, January of this year, median sales price of 353. We're currently sitting at 385,000. So it's a pretty good appreciation bump across uh, the Orlando metropolitan area. According to Aura, median home prices have increased every month in 2023. Um, Inventory is up a little bit to 54.50. Interest rates are down a little bit on the mortgages, down to 6.66. Days on market have come down a little bit from January down to 45 from 57, but it's up 20 days from June this time last year. If you look at the graph, it's important to remember the summer times are the hot months. We saw some spikes last summer, as you see with the chart, kind of values kind of cooled off through the winter, and then they're back on an upswing again as we go through this summer here in 2023. Median rent in January for a house in Orlando. 2182, currently sitting at 2136. Depending on location in Orlando, that could be a pretty wide rental range depending on where you're at. Um, so it's really important to do your market research if you are looking at a property. Not too many new build investment opportunities, but there may be a lot of um, fix and hold properties. And then if you look compared to an apartment in Orlando, three bedrooms at 2362. So pretty, pretty expensive to live in an apartment in the Orlando area. Palm Bay, um, median price is sitting at 332, which is down from 336 in January. So a little bit of a appreciation, depreciation, but not bad. Um, rental rates have stayed about the same and on par with the national average. Uh, but they are down year over year from what we've been seeing just a little bit. Apartment rates have stayed pretty stagnant as well. Ocala, uh, we are currently sitting at 268 median, which is down from 273, so a little bit of a de- depreciation there. Um, but you really, if you've got those properties, the rental rates are still pretty, pretty solid for what the acquisition costs typically are. Rental rates on the house is sitting at seventeen fifty three, which is only a few dollars more than it was in January. Um, but key thing is it's seventeen percent lower than the national average. And with all those distribution centers, you have a lot of truck drivers that live in that area, and they make pretty solid wages, as well as the factory workers themselves. So there still is a good rental market for for an investor. Lakeland uh, median sales price is up to three twelve from two ninety nine in January. Um, It is down 5.7% year over year, but we are seeing some some growth out there in Lakeland. Um, House rental rates have gone up almost $150 from January. Still not a ton ton of competition, not a ton of renters in that area, but there are renters still moving. Um, If you can look at the compared to an apartment, uh, it's actually cheaper to rent a house than a three-bedroom apartment in Lakeland on average. Claremont. Claremont's unique. It's growing. It's a little little west of Orlando. If you look at the appreciation bump, we're up to 463 on the median sales price um, from 455 in January. But if you look at those rental rates, uh, January there was that 2600 median rent for a house. It's down to 2535. But that's still a pretty strong rental rate. And there's a lot of nice neighborhoods. If you've been in the house for a little while, have some equity, you may have an, an opportunity there to leverage the property. Winter Garden, much like Claremont, only just more historic. Um, same thing. House prices have appreciated pretty well, up twenty thousand dollars since January. Median rent is at twenty eight oh two, so really, really expensive rental rates. Not a ton of rentals out there, but if someone is looking in the Winter Garden area, they are going to typically going to have to pay some premium rental rates. Um, and it's not cheap to live in a three bedroom apartment in Winter Garden either, with it being at twenty seven hundred, which is thirty three percent. Higher, you know, on the rental rate, 33% higher than the national average. Oviedo, another strong, strong community. Uh, houses have only appreciated two grand since January, but it's a desirable location. Great schools. A lot of people want to be there. A lot of restaurants. Um, you can see the center in the middle. It's uh, the downtown Oviedo. If you look at the rental rates, those have gone up 
sitting at 2,500 in June. Um, I can tell you we've had a couple of houses recently that rented in the 27, 2800 range and with single digit days on market. Um, so we are seeing some really strong rental data and much like the Winter Garden Claremont areas, if you've had the house for a while, you may be sitting on a really good opportunity to leverage that equity and upgrade to a primary. All right, Sanford. Sanford's seen a really big bump in median sales price up to 342 from just under 300,000 at the start of the year. Um, rental rates on houses sitting at 2045, which is right about national average, a little under. If you look at compared to a three bedroom apartment, 2100 for a three bedroom apartment, you can get, rent a median house for, for less than an apartment. Um, thing to remember with Sanford, downtown Sanford is a booming area. It's growing. A lot of businesses are going there, but it is an older community. So if you are looking to buy a property, um, whether it's a um, rehab and hold or one of the newer build construction, there are a handful of new build communities that are going in and have been for the last few years. Um, just make sure you do your market research that you're not buying a, a house in a bad area where you're about to bun dump a bunch of money into the renovation. But always remember, you don't want to have the nicest house in the neighborhood. Um, Kissimmee and Davenport, Kissimmee has seen a, a pretty decent appreciation bump up to 347 from 335 in January. Rental rates are still pretty strong, uh, right at 2363, which is 13% more than the national average. Um, if you look at compared to a, an apartment, only a little more, a little over $100 more for an apartment. Thing to remember with Kissimmee is there's a lot of competition. So make sure if you do have an investment property there that uh, you're putting on the market, make sure yours is going to be clean, that it's going to show well and that there will be some reason for your property to stand out from the other properties. All right, Deltona, um, up to 307 on the median sales price. Uh, rental rates are a little over 2,000 in 2025, which is 5% lower than the national average, um, but only slightly more than an apartment. Deltona is unique, not too far north from Orlando, about 20, 30 minute drive, depending on where you're at. Um, Great value on on the retail side. Again, if you've been there for a little while, we've seen some some properties go in the you know 22, 23, 24 range, depending on what what they can provide. So there are still some good rental opportunities, just a wide range of uh, you know rental rates in the area. All right, Lake Mary is up to four seventeen on the median sale price, up from four twelve in January, um, down almost twenty percent year over year. Median rental rate for a house is 2,200, which is 5% higher than national average. Lake Mary is a great area, um, great area, not too many bad areas that you gotta be uh, you know, fearful of. So don't be af afraid if you can find a property where the numbers make sense. They're, it's a strong area and it's growing. Um, Longwood, really big appreciation bump from January. We're up to 437 median sales price, uh, median rental, for a house is at 2177, which is 4% higher than national average, um, are down a little bit. Uh, apartments, three bedroom apartments, and at 2063, which is down compared to last year. Winter Springs, another good area to be in if you can afford it. There's been a lot of new build townhomes and condos in the last couple of years. Still seeing some growth out there with some more, more construction going on. Um, look at that appreciation bump up to 445,000. Um, rental rates are sitting at 2275 median, but again, there's a pretty wide range of houses. If you get some of those nicer properties, um, they can definitely rent higher, you know, 25, 26, 27, 28, you know, depending on the property, the niceness, the amenities, uh, updates. So uh, just keep that in mind. You may you may be able to find a property that you can flip and, and get some good cash flow out of it. Davenport, uh, again, another good appreciation bump up to 370 from 347, so about 23,000 appreciation so far this year. Pretty good. Uh, median rent sitting at 2,300, much like a semi. A lot of competition down there, both short term and long term. Um, so make sure your property is going to show well. Make sure it's clean. Make sure it's updated. Um, don't waste the time with days on market if it's not going to show well because there's a lot of competition and and we've really seen it go up and down pretty pretty much week to week as far as what what it's doing days on market. Um, some can go quick. Some can be on market 30, 35 days just because of the, how much competition's out there. Um, Popka, same thing. Um, 
median sales price has stayed pretty stagnant since the beginning of the year. Uh, the rental rates are pretty strong because there's a lot of a lot of nice neighborhoods that can really bring up that median rental rate. Um, so keep that in mind. All right, and then we conclude here with some comments from Lisa Hill, president of the Orlando Realtor Regional Realtor Association. We're halfway through the year. Orlando's housing market remains strong. June's housing data is a strong indication of what the rest of the year will look like. We can continue to expect to see more inventory and great sales, great prices for homes, which is good news for both buyers and sellers. Well, that's it for this uh, this month's or uh, this quarter's update. If you have any questions, um, feel free to give Jason or I a call for a free rental analysis. If you're sitting on a house, maybe you want to upgrade the primary, maybe renting is an option for you. Leverage that that equity. Uh, give us a call and get a free analysis. Have a great day.